Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss the short story The Cusk of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. In this video I will be discussing introduction to writer, his writing style, summary of the story, plot analysis of the story, critical analysis of the story and we will see themes and symbols and figurative language used in the story. So let's begin the video. This is the text of the story. Okay, and uh, we'll move to introduction of writer and his writing style. Edgar Allan Poe biography. Edgar Allan Poe born on January 19, 1809 in Boston. And his legacy, he is known as the inventor of detective fiction. And he was best known for his horror stories in his stories he discussed the the horrors thrillers mysteries uh, and the dark and edgar Allan poe have inspired many modern day horror and science fiction writers and uh, this is the detail of his early childhood and family life no need to discuss that if you are interested you can read that and uh, I'll be focusing on important his writing style. Poe wrote in a variety of forms. His most popular pieces are short stories like The Tell Tell Heart. I make a separate video on that link in the description or the above i button. And uh, The Musk of the Road Death, The Fall of the House of Usher, and poems like The Raven. These are very famous work of Poe and uh, as far as his style writing style is concerned he wrote gothic fiction and highlight crimes terror mystery and use of symbols and foreshadowing technique foreshadowing technique uh, you know is referring to the uh, the give hint about the upcoming events in the story and uh, Macabre, he is best known for Macabre, the quality of having a grim and ghastly atmosphere and mood, and mood in the story. And this pretty heavy word, Joyce, is both sophisticated and chock full of terrifying connotation or emotional meanings. And uh, you can also see the emotional unstability of characters in his stories, such as Telltale Heart. And in this story, the main character is facing some psychological or mental issue. So these things are highlighted by Poe and uh, use of such diction lead to horrific imagery where he used words to create a picture in the reader's mind and uh, we'll see that uh, yes as already discussed is the creator inventor of detective fiction and modern mystery and uh, he was uh, heavily influenced by many tragedies in his life his writing was usually dark and morbid and uh, yes this is about his writing style and uh, We'll move on to analysis of the story. The first one is the title significance. We'll discuss what is the meaning of the title, The Cusk of Amontillado. So, yes, it's a dark romantic story that illustrates the horrors of evil. And uh, as the story in the story, the word cask, cask means a vessel and amontillado. Amontillado is a very special kind of Spanish sherry, sherry which, uh, which is a wine, name of a wine. And cask is a vessel or barrel, you can say. So this is the meaning of the title. And uh, the characters, there are two main characters in the story, Montresa and Fortunato. And... Uh, uh, Monst Montresa is the narrator and murderer and Fortunato is a wine connoisseur which means he is good at tasting wine and have a knowledge of wines and he become victim of Montresa and Montresa uh, you can see murder him in the story we'll see 
so this uh, now i'm going to discuss the plot and summary plot analysis summary the same things okay so the story begins with a narrator Mont montressa who is the montressa explained that a man called fortunato who was his friend who uh, wronged him and uh, so the montressa want to take revenge of that uh, insult he wronged him by insulting him so this make uh, offended the montressa so he want to take revenge on his friend so he make a plan to plot to make a plot against his friend fortunato and uh, he explained that uh, fortunato he make a mockery about fortunato by mocking about his dress he dressed like a jessa to degrade him and he enters fortunato to come to his home to see the pipe of amantilado that has acquired so this is a plan uh, of montressa to take fortunato with him to his home and to murder him so what he did there he took him fortunato with him to his home and they go into a uh, catacombs catacomb is an underground passage that often places where the dead bodies are buried so underground house you can say so he take him to that place to murder him and uh, fortunato continues to crept montressa urging him to a smaller space in that place and fortunato he was unaware of the plotting of uh, or the hypocrisy of the his friend uh, montressa so fortunato he is so drunk that he is confused as montressa chains him to a area and fortunato is still asking for a mantelado while montressa bangs him uh, in stone and mortar however monster montressa start building a wall at the entrance of a small area and uh, he described the sounds here as he builds and uh, he locked up the fortunato in chains in a smaller area and to start building a wall there still the fortunato he didn't believe that his friend is uh, trying to murder him he, it seems like a joke for him and uh, he later he realized that it was not a game so he screamed and he said for the love of god leave me montressa repeat his words there is silence and uh, he built up the wall and uh, it all ends and the man does not respond so maybe he died uh, beside the wall helpless fortunato this is the story summary a brief summary and we'll see the plot analysis the plot diagram in the exposition posted the story as montressa memory and uh, the main character montressa and he vowed to seek revenge for fortunato insult and the conflict in the conflict is the revenge and in the rising action montressa and fortunato descend into catacombs the climax montressa is successful in chaining fortunato to the wall and the falling action montressa breaks up the wall and in resolution he was successful in his execution of his plan to murder his friend and uh, take revenge and we'll see irony in uh, in the story so irony you know it's the opposite of what is stated and it comes into different form uh, situational irony and then dramatic irony different and most obvious irony ironic element of story is fortunato name as his name indicate seems like that he fortune but uh, in reality he is very unfortunate in the story and uh, we'll analyze character character analysis the complex character montressa montressa crime horror movie moves movies have been around almost as long and uh, okay people get a thrill from a mysterious and dark tale of murder 
and uh, here Montres are represented uh, as uh, as an evil like who tried to take revenge and did some crime to murder his friend and uh, he is the narrator and he is described as unreliable narrator so it tells a story in such a way that we cannot trust whether his saying is true or not and sometimes the narrator have mental illness as part of Paul's uh, writing and Montresa is incredibly smart and shows no remorse or regret and he is willing to kill someone just because he has been insulted so uh, insulting such a small thing and uh, as a result of that insult a murder revenge take revenge in the form of murder and uh, Montresa the same thing unreliable narrator and uh, we'll move on to figurative language used in the short story figurative language is when we use words or phrases in a such a way that goes beyond their literal meaning using comparisons to create images and evoke specific feelings or responses so let's look at the common example is the phrase i let the cat out of bag and um, if we interpret this literally mean the author is talking about freeing a small furry mammal or cat from a bag however uh, in figurative language the expression refers to telling a secret and uh, uh, literary devices are used there hyperbole metaphor and simile and authors use figurative language to create picture or atmosphere for their readers so we'll see each of these figurative languages and uh, literary devices hyperplay hyperplay you you know the literary device used for exaggeration to exaggerate something and story begins with this melodramatic statement melodramatic means a statement that is overstated thousands of injuries thousand injuries a fortunato i had born as i best could but when we venture upon insult i vow revenge so he is exaggerating this small act and uh, intoxication a mat metaphor is used there fortunato is highly intoxicated from the wine offered to him by montresa and uh, he turned towards me montresa said that he turns toward me and look into my eyes with two fill me up that distill the realm of intoxication the example of figurative language metaphor is your use there and the fill me up stand for fortunato eyes and draw uh, night ray and dripping water a simile is used there the night ray so what is night ray there night ray uh, is a salt like substance so it hang like so simile is used there comparison like moss upon the vaults and uh, drops of moisture trickling among the bones and now we'll move on to the themes of the story the themes uh, are guilt is there yes at the end the narrator montresa felt guilt and repentance and remorse about the act he has done he murder his friend and this makes him feel guilty and he repent on his act and revenge is there yes he vowed to revenge take revenge on a small act of insult and hypocrisy is there on the surface the narrator seems to be friendly to montresa but uh, actually he is plotting against him and he was a hypocrite and uh, he 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 is represented as uh, you can say deceive or uh, yes he deceive his friend and mental and emotional inst instability is there montresa so a normal person cannot do that uh, he take revenge on smaller things and murder which, which is a big deal you know so he is mentally upset 
or things like that facing some psychological issue that's why he take he murder his friend and pride is there and montresor is very proud about his family so his friend fortunato actually insult his family so to take to regain the pride of his family he is very proud about his family to gain the pride he he vowed to take revenge so pride is there hatred is also there he has a hatred towards his friend who insult him and jealousy is also there jealousy you can say in this form the fortunato become jealous of uh, other person as the narrator montressa described tell him that there was another person who is better than you at tasting wines but fortunato insisted that no one is better than me in tasting wines so he become jealous and the symbols used are carnival we can say that it represents life and energy and and catacombs they are symbol of evil and death and draw uh, we'll see another major symbol in the story is fortunato's gesture outfit outfit and narrator describe him as a joker or to insult him or to degrade him mocking about his dress and uh, his dress includes a conical cap and bell symbolize fortunato's foolishness so that's all uh, hope you understand and uh, i'll provide you the notes link in the description thank you